We missed you at dinner, dear. Sorry you had to work so late. Uh, it seemed like everybody in Springfield had insurance problems today. <laughs> Where are the children? Kathy's next door. Betty's at a sorority meeting and Bud's upstairs. Ah, uh, quiet evening at home. I can use it. Thanks. It's so quiet. I don't know whether I can concentrate or not. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's just Bud, dear. Just Bud? One boy couldn't possibly make all that noise. What's he doing, anyway? I don't know. But whatever he's doing, we're not supposed to know about it. It's a secret. That's a secret? <laughs> Sounds like the entire Springfield football squad is up there. Wage should be evenly distributed. racket upstairs. I didn't hear anything. Sounded like you were training a herd of elephants. Well, I, uh, I was reading. What do you do, turn a handspring after every word? Of course not. Hello, Daddy. Goodbye, Bud. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy. Good night, Daddy. Bud, where are you going? I'm going over to Joe Phillips for a little while. I'll see you later, huh? Find out anything, dear? Oh, sure, everything. And? He said he was reading. He's been acting very strange the last few days. He's been acting strange since he was born. This is different. I'm worried. So am I. I don't know which is going to go first, the ceiling or my nerves. Father! Father, I've got the most exciting news. Mother, you'll never believe it. One thing I love about this family, everyone's always so calm. What is it, then? It's about Bud. He's leaving home. Oh, Jim. Well, you know the school dance at the country club next Friday night? Well, Bud is going. Bud's going to a dance? He doesn't even know how to dance. Not only that, he'd have to take a girl. He's taking a girl. <laughs> Bud? Our Bud? Our bashful, blushing boy, Bud? Oh, no wonder he's been so nervous lately. I'll never forget the last time he was supposed to take a girl to a dance. I don't think any of us will. He made for the basement like a scared gopher. A <laughs> grown boy hiding in a basement. He stayed down there so long I thought he was going to mildew. <laughs> Who is he taking? Oh, her name's Marcia. She's Mrs. Lanson's granddaughter. Oh, she must be a new girl. Yeah, she's just here for the semester. Bud with a girl. Bud have a girl? Kathy. <laughs> that time old Bud got a girl. Never mind, Kathy. Here, I'll read you one story and then off to bed you go. Kathy, where did you get this book? Bud's room. Ballroom dancing, self-taught. Margaret, look at this. Read it to me, Daddy. So that's what Bud's been doing. Learning to dance from a book? Bud learning to dance? Never mind, Kathy. <laughs> this book must be over 50 years old. The polka. The Vaults, The Two-Step. Is that one of your books, Father? <laughs> How old do you think I am? This is a library book. Listen to this, Margaret. As the movement of the vaults is necessarily rapid, the danger of collision is proportionately increased, and gentlemen will do well to remember and act upon this hint. <laughs> this dancing's more dangerous than I thought. <laughs> I think we should all be especially considerate of his feelings. Does that mean I have to be nice to him? We all do. It's a very serious situation when a boy goes to his first dance and has his first date. Now we better get this up to Bud's room. I'll take it. Oh, oh, there he is. Now remember, we don't know anything about the dance or the book. Do you understand, Kathy? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you, bud, dear? Hi, brother. I don't see why. Kathy. <laughs> Hello, bud. What did I 
do? Uh, we're, we're, we're just glad to see you, son. Would you like some ice cream? Or, or some milk? No, I, I don't want anything. I forgot something. What'd you forget? Kathy. Uh, why don't you stay down here and talk to us a while? What about? Oh, anything. No, I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> now, Betty. Can I quit smiling now? No. Yeah, that's me. I was on my way over, but I forgot the book. <laughs> Anyhow, I think the family's getting suspicious. You better make it tomorrow night. Oh, and Joe, I want to warn you about one thing. You know where it says to glissade your left foot and then slide the right one back, turning half around? It's a trap. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, so long, Joe. Bye. Hello, brother. <laughs> staring at me for? Uh, we're not staring at you, son. Of course not, dear. I was. Uh, who called? It's Joe. How's Joe? You are so staring at me. <laughs> just like to look at you, son. Uh, you and Joe cooking up something? Uh, a little footwork uh, for boxing. It's good exercise, son. Nothing like being able to defend yourself in a clinch. <laughs> Does Marcia like the box? What? What did you say? She, she just wants to know if there are any marshmallows left in the box. Oh. Well, good night. Good night, son. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> well, little Luella, you did it again. <laughs> this is the first breakfast Bud's missed in 14 years. He's certainly taking this dancing seriously. He's been up since dawn, practicing. How long do we have to pretend we don't know anything? This is a situation that has to be handled with the utmost diplomacy. That means you too, kitten. I haven't said anything. <laughs> I don't see why going to a dance is such a project. It can be for a boy. I remember my first dance. You'll never know the agonies I went through, Betty. I was scared to death. If Bud is just half as frightened as I was, he's in bad shape. He might even collapse. If he does, we'll be there to hold him up. <laughs> we'll be there. Well, the principal called this morning and asked us to be patrons at the dance. Oh, Margaret, we can't do that. If Bud thought for one moment we were going to be there, he'd, he'd disintegrate. But I can't get out of it now, Jim. Well, if we have to go, I think Bud should be warned. He's having enough trouble as it is. I'm going to be completely honest with him. I'll go up and tell him now. Remember the basement. Just leave it to me. I'll be as diplomatic as possible. Bud? <laughs> yes, Dad? May I come in a minute? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Bud? Old man? Uh-oh. I think it's time you and I had a little talk. Dad, I've got a lot on my mind, and I'd rather not have a father-son talk right now. But there's something I think you should know. We've been all through this before. I'm talking about the dance, bud. Dance? What dance? The dance you're going to. You know about it? Yes. Your mother and I are going to be there, too. You're going to be there? Now, there's no reason to be embarrassed about it. And as far as you're taking Marcia's concern... You know about her, too? <laughs> yes, and we all feel it. Great jumping jeepers. There he goes again. Bud, come back. Bud. Bud, come out of that basement. Please, Bud. Mommy. What does diplomatic mean? It's the art of being able to say the right thing at the wrong time. <laughs> Try again, Jim. Oh, bud! There's nothing wrong in learning how to dance, son. We'll help you learn to dance. I'm never going to learn to dance. Please, bud! No! 
We may have to smoke him out. Sissy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Sissy! Kathy! He'll have a relapse after that. But I'll ask you once more. Are you or are you not coming up? I are not. 